Hello YouTube, hope you all are doing well. This is MB again and today we are going to talk about PowerShell let's say string manipulation. Uh, this session is going to be I think short as usual. Uh, I'm trying to uh, separate the things that you are learning, you know, uh, provide them in bits and bits. Instead of you trying to eat a whole hamburger, or uh, just a burger in my case, um, chopping it off, providing you with you know, small pieces like, you know, you dipping chips into some sausage and eat it, right? So, uh, string manipulation, right? So, let's do PowerShell string manipulation. Well, this is kind of important if you are in scripting or automation. Uh, most of the times you get some output and you want to filter that output or get uh, a particular uh, part of output. And this is how you do it. Let's see how you do it. This is how you do it. Let me kind of tell you how you do it. Well, I'm kind of thinking, you know, what is the example that I should take? Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, all right, I will just say this is line. Okay. Line is equal to some line, right? Uh, I, power shell is a cool windows scripting language now what i'm gonna do is i will say line dot split and so f5 what happens here is i'm splitting this line and the parameter that i'm giving it are uh, the basis that i'm going to do that is on a space so wherever space is there in this line, uh, it's going to create a split. Let's say instead of that, uh, I will say, I will remove the space and what happens? Okay, I had not given a space. Okay, so if this is empty, it will assume, anyway, it will assume that, okay, it will, it is a space. Based on a space, it will split it. Uh, let's say there was a comma here. And uh, let's see what happens. Press F5, as you can see now. PowerShell comma is one uh, value now. So whenever you split anything, it will be an array. So let's say if I put zero here. So what does that mean? Uh, it's going to split this entire thing. And then when I put a zero, it's going to select the first item or the zeroth item in that list or array. If I put one here, one here, right? This happens, right? Uh, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna take this out. It will be easy for you. Clear, right? Uh, or if you wanna see it here, right? Let me do this. Right, however, I can't change the font here. Let me try to see where I can change the font. Uh, properties, font, buffer, number of buffers, where the hell is font? 28, oh wow, is that okay? All right, so 28 is okay. So now dot line dot again dot split. I recommend you to do it, you know, uh, in ISC, but just for the sake of it, I want to show it to you here. Right, is yes. So instead of me trying to, you know, point that out every time, I'm going to say list equals. So R, I will say array equals line dot split. Right. So when I ray, see what happens. So what happens is I'm splitting this line uh, wherever there's a space. I'm splitting it and I'm storing that in this variable called array. Anyway, it's going to be an array. So I'm calling it as an array. And when I index array to, let's say, three, it's going to put the fourth item. So it's zero, one, two, three. So zero to three. So what if I want to do this what if I do this zero dot dot 
and enter. Uh, why is it not? So it's gonna print out from a zeroth item to third item. PowerShell is a cool, right? Let's say I wanna print out just a zero, comma three, right? So what happens is PowerShell uh, is, of course, I know that it's cool, uh, zero, comma three. So that's what we have. What if you want to join them? So uh, let me go back to IAC again. Uh, somehow like this here. It's kind of comfortable to edit and stuff. I'm going to say array here again. So what I want to do here is I will say, uh, okay, I will say first are. Hmm, Okay, I will just say array a uh, minus join. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's joining the entire uh, array, a uh, uh, number now, uh, uh, whatever the items that are there in the, in this array, it's joining them uh, with uh, without any delimiter or without any space because I have not given any space. I'm going to give a space here. Okay, I advised you to stick with single quotes just for the sake of it. Right now it's adding a space automatically. What if I put a comma here? So it's adding them based on a you know, comma, right? You see where I'm going with it, right? You see that, right? Let me clear this out. Do an F5 here again. So it's adding the whole thing again with a comma. What if I put this? And um, let's say uh, I just do this, right? So this is how you manipulate string, uh, split, or uh, join. Um, what if uh, this is just one word instead of power shell, right? What if it was just word? Hmm? Mm, let's see what happens. Well, first, let's see what we get here. Well, because there is now a uh, space here to split. However, if it was this, you see where I'm going with it, right? Uh, when will it be useful? Uh, let me give you a scenario where, uh, let's say, someone inputs a name, right? Change. The MB. Right, uh, so you want to split that to line that split. Uh, someone tells you, okay, I want all the last names. Uh, so you split this, you got all the names here, and then you just want the last name, right? So just say a uh, last name is usually at the end, so minus one. You can start counting, you know, from right to left as well. Minus one. Well, if you put two here uh, from right to left right so then you get the middle one middle name right so this is how you uh, this is basic manipulation of string we're going to look at uh, much advanced stuff later when we do uh, powershell projects till i see you the next time till the next time have a great day enjoy yourself and subscribe now thank you take care bye bye